Good morning guys. It is in the five o'clock sometime. Not sure what time it is. We had an awesome night's sleep, or I did at least. David was kind of, he was in the bear's den. I've had people tell me I snore. I've had people tell me I don't snore, but he's definitely confirmed that I might snore a little bit. What do you think, David? Yeah, I was definitely in a bear's den for sure. <laughs> yes, and I, uh, I got to hear his lungs all night long for sure his lungs all night so they're working uh got the coffee all perked already got a cup right there gonna drive that cup into me and we're gonna go out and do some native main brook trout fishing today definitely gonna set the jack traps we might set all all 10 out front to start and come back to the camp and eat some breakfast watch those traps and flags from here and then pull one each and go out and do some jigging see if we can get the live scope going get on some lake white fish or some togue but all in all pretty good night's sleep having some trouble with a buddy heater these things are junk coming to be done with this buddy heater after this trip and switch over to the wood stove or or the diesel heater i got something else up my sleeve too but just keep shutting off it shut off last night luckily it wasn't terribly cold last night we were just in the teens but it shut off pretty quick to when we went to sleep he he, he says it wasn't terribly cold <laughs> that buddy heater shut off and i I didn't know how to turn it on, so I set up. My man's got icicles and frost and all over his beard, snoring like a bear in hibernation over there. And I didn't want to wake him up, but yeah, he said it won't too. That man right there is tougher than freaking nails, man. Don't let him get off. I'm over here like a city boy in my uh, in my little 30 below tent and he's over there in a t-shirt icicle sitting there breath uh you can see his breath with every breath he was snoring so yeah he needs to come up with a better system for us city boys <laughs> but all in all how was the sleeping bag part of it hey this sleeping bag said negative 30 below and yes it was incredible i even though he had icicles on his beard i had i shoot i was warm and toasty in this i give it an a plus i don't know what brand this is it's a browning but i'm gonna give browning an a plus on this because it was incredible good to hear nice yeah i woke up a bunch of times but at one point i woke up and i was like it's chilly in here and you can see there's no glow coming from the heater so i put one of these beanie hats on and made it through the night a little bit better but i know like your head your head being out of the sleeping bag i'm sure was cold in your face and and uh but yeah the body heater i don't know what's going on with it we're gonna go grab another tank i got four or five tanks in the truck it's well, fine it's fine getting it's fine putting the sleeping bag over top of your head but the problem is when you eat beans <laughs> and fish before you go that's what we had to eat last night and then you put the sleeping bag over top of your head so I wouldn't get icicles on my scruff. Yeah, it don't smell too good inside. So no, yeah, you need a gas mask at that yeah, point. Yeah, we, we needed a gas mask. It was actually, at one point, this thing was actually levitating. It had so much <laughs> gas, it was levitating. So don't don't eat beans before you tuck yourself in a, in a sleeping bag. I learned that. <laughs> no, nah, it's just some added heat, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah that buddy heater's running now we we pulled out the little buddy heater over there i don't know guys i don't know if it's a valve or a switch or what it's like shutting off like low oxygen but it's not low oxygen i know that for sure and i do have a co2 detector somewhere in here but i don't know what it is but this will probably be the last trip of that i got a wood stove i just didn't want to cut a hole in the roof I want to go out through one of the windows with one of the jacks so that way I can move it around depending on airflow or draft or or setup in here. So I just haven't had time to do that window jack yet. But, you know, I'll probably still keep a buddy heater around. This one's been good to me for two or three years. It's just messing up now. I don't know if the valves maybe or a sensor. But it is what it is. You can't go down to Walmart and buy one now. We're into it. <laughs> Flag! Flag! It's running. He's running. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, Dylan. You can make it. Oh no. Bear hole. That flush is hard to run in. Alright, she's still going. She's still going. Oh. What do I do? Hey. What do I do? Oh, hold on. You hold on. Let's get this flush out of here. What do I do? She's no, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. 
Holy cow. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to pick up the trap. You're going to grab the line. As soon as you feel anything, give him a hook set. It's, it's, I actually it's just set the hook. It's just this hard. You know, it's not too hard. He's off that way. And then you're going to keep steady tension on him. Okay, yeah, he's off to the side. If you feel anything for weight. Feel anything? Go a little faster. Oh. Feel him. Yeah, oh, I felt. Yeah, hit him. You got him? I think that's him. <laughs> it's first mountain trout. I got my first trout. <laughs> first mountain fish. trout. First fish on a jack trout, baby. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, we'll eat it if we have to, but otherwise the fox is going to eat tonight. Ah. Uh, well, would you look at there? Hold that baby up to the camera. Would you? Would you look at there? This dude. Made me sprint all for it. I don't care what size they are. He gave me a thrill of a lifetime right there. Would you look at there? Mountain trout. Oh, buddy. A mountain trout. I think we got a flag up on the other side of the sled. Is that a flag on the left of the sled? The sled's parked in front of the trap. It looks huh? like. We got a flag. We got a flag. We got a flag. Here, jump on. Jump on right here. We got a flag, boys. Jump on. We got a flag. This is Let's good. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> Let's go, Joe. He's we got a down. flag. <laughs> He's fired. All right. So same thing. I'll, I can grab the trap for you. Is it running? It's just barely tripped. All right. So, yeah, he might be on there. You see if you can catch up to him. And if you feel them, just just set that hook. Got him? Oh! Oh, he came off right there. Oh my! I didn't gosh. see what it was. I saw it looked like an orange flash or something. Ooh, that's brook trout. All right, you'll Dang get another it. chance at him. Hey, you'll get another chance at him. Dang it! Let's rebait and reset. Oh, what a beautiful morning. We got the whole place to ourselves. Oh, here. Uh, before you put that worm on, let's sound it. And then I'll show you the way I sound it. It's just like this. There's, that's flat. This one's got a hole in that side. So I go through the jaws and come out that hole. So just in case it falls out, it still can catch there. And then you just slowly drop it till it hits bottom. All right, so your bottom's right there. Too, too bad. Too short. No, no, it's gonna be mint. So, all right, so this is bottom. And we got like, eight to ten inches of ice so you got this much water it's crazy you can catch a five pound brook trout in that so we're gonna be shallow? like no no okay. no like you can go shallower if you need to yep you'll see and we'll try some eight ten foot too but you know we'll find out where they're running get this guy ready sean just pimped out this trap last time i was there Will it sink? Oh, it will sink. Oh, look at that. What'd you look at that? That's, so what I'm going to do is go, I kind of want it like up in the water column. So that's it. That's where we're setting that joker. Shut sure, that yeah. is below the ice, is uh, it? Yeah. Yeah. And with, you watch with Brookies. Oh my God, this is going to be fun. Okay. If orangey goes off, orangey is uh Maybe. Should we, should we get that through one more time or leave no? It there, leave it. Okay. He'll eat the whole damn thing, right? All right, let's just make sure it's under. Yep, right now it's under the ice for sure. And it's not on bottom, so we're golden. All right, we got to reset that next one. Joe. Blood? Oh, hold on. Yes, I am taping. I'm taping. Joe. This ice is making my mouth. It's frozen. It's froze, that froze. Oh, yeah. That froze before it hit Welcome there. to Maine. We're out here in the outback in Maine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the wilderness. That was awesome. <laughs> David Dudley's wacky worm as seen in Walmart. I saw your picture at Walmart the other day. There. Wacky worming for brookies. I saw your picture in Walmart the other day. Uh -huh. I was like, who's that ugly guy? You know. I was like, I know that guy. He's ugly. <laughs> It was for beauty products, I think. 
<laughs> was it was it beauty products or was it in the fishing department? Maybe, Maybelline. 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 It Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline. I was doing some red blush from Maybelline. <laughs> Oh, oh flag, flag. no no that was that was a oh, false alarm false damn. alarm dang you got me jacked up about the flag but you do have this flag business down i <laughs> i told david that when you get a flag i told david when you get a flag you got to yell flag and he is taking it serious mm -hmm. he ain't gonna let anything slide he told me he said look it's code ethic that you yell flag it's like an unwritten rule, so I got to follow yeah. And if you see other people fishing and they got a flag, it's like you one up them if you tell them they have a flag. Ooh. So like like if you if there's a group out there and they're fishing and they don't see they have a flag up, you no, be, look, you we, get to come out and yell flag. It. Redemption, buddy. Yo, we got we got flags. It's wide open, but it hasn't it hasn't moved, so you're gonna have to feel for him. Oh, he's on, he's on. Oh heck, Joe. Here we go. I think I saw movement. He done went back to the left. If you feel him, hit him. I ain't feel nothing. Oh. We got a tricky one here. Oh. Yeah, hey, yeah, he's Joe, <laughs> we got us a mountain trout. <laughs> we got us a mountain trout, Joe. Nice. Mm. Good job, buddy. Hey, first two fish ever underneath the ice. We get us a mountain trout. Oh, Joe. Oh, that poor eagle and fox. Joe. Oh what no. What did you do, Joe? I can't. I can't believe what just happened. Joe. Oh no. What the what the joke? We're definitely not eating mountain trout and bacon this morning now. Joe, <laughs> you let our breakfast go, Joe. Good thing that wasn't a trout. Oh man. That was a good lesson to learn right there on a mountain trout. Poor Dave. Just lost his fur. He was gonna get that mounted, I think. We'll just park the sled next to whatever trap we want. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. She shot All, right. Joe. All right, watch this. Watch this. Now, look at the reel. See how she's oh, making Joe. See how she's Joe, making power? Joe, she's shaking. All right, she just stopped to eat, so I'd, I'd feel it or jack it. One or the other. All right, here we go. I'd hit him. Got him? Joe. Lay it to the side. Got me something. Lay it to I one side or the other. Got me something, Joe. Nice. Oh, a giant <laughs> mountain trout. They're a getting giant. bigger. All right, David. Good mountain trout. Show the camera that mountain trout. That's the biggest one. Oh, Joe. <laughs> you can't keep doing that. Joe. Oh, he's still there, Joe. Get him. Get him. Get him. Dead gump. This is why they look, look a yonder. We got a seclude, Joe. There's some grass Smell in it. here. Dead gum it, Joe. That's two times Dang. in a row. That guy's gonna steal our bait all day now. That poor fox is never gonna eat. All right, we got a flag. This is a good one. This is the first brookie. What's she doing? She rolling? Just oh. barely tripped, isn't it? Is it off to the side at all? Oh. Ah. Something hit it. Steal a worm. Yeah. Joe! I was worried about that wacky. You might have to ball it a little bit. Because trout hits so hard. Throw like I'd throw it through like two or three times. Alright, Joe. Dang it. Yeah. That could have been a trout at like 90 miles an hour, you know? Just rip that worm in half. The nice part is, that ain't going to be enough for a meal. He'll be back. Oh, what I got to do with the flag? I still ain't seen. Yep, so this comes around, and that, see that loop? Yeah. It hooks in there. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll use my left hand, like this, let me show you. So I'll use... I'll use my right hand down here. See how I'm moving that tripper? Oh. And that moves it up top at the same time. So I'll put a, a thumb on that. So I get this lined up. And then with my right hand down here, I just twist that in. Uh, and then I it's in. You. 
Oh, that worm looks, I want to eat that thing. Look at that thing. David, you know what, you know the rule. Your first day fishing in Maine, if you don't catch a fish, you have to eat all the bait. Hey, I got a tough stomach. This ain't, this ain't a city boy stomach. I know. It's a country boy stomach. I can handle some impurities in my stomach. <laughs> but we got worms, we got smelt, we got shiders. And we got that sucker you had, you caught yesterday. We call that bait now. Oh, this one's going. It's going? All right, let me grab the trap. You're, you're going to get the line. Oh, this is going. She making power, bub. Hit it, hit it. Got it? Yeah, I got something, Joe. I got something, Joe. Just throw it to the side, the line. Another oh, mountain trout. Oh, <laughs> well, lucky yonder. Another mountain trout. You're good at those. Another mountain trout. Now, that, maybe this time I won't. I won't throw him back in by accident. We'll look yonder. We'll look yonder. <laughs> mountain trout facial. Look a yonder. Yeah. You didn't know you could eat these sushi style, did you? <laughs> mm. Who's eating who? Oh yeah. Alright, let me I'll get I'll get you a bait. We got another flag up behind you. It could be. Could be the droid we're looking for. Joe, flag! Nice. Flag, flag, flag. All right, buddy. Oh, that's all right. You coming or you, you no, I'm, com I'm coming because we just started cooking. Yo, we got a flag. And imagine it's that, it's that same flag that's been up all day. First one there gets it. Oh, oh boy, going, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. All right, Joe. All right, buddy. This might you be ready? The first mountain trout and something to hit him. The mountain trout. Go ahead and hit him when All you're right. ready. Got, Got it. it, Joe. All right, just throw that line to the side. Oh, Brookie, well. Brookie. Hey, I did catch a trout. <laughs> you I got a little, a little Brookie. What would you look at here? That's a native, native Maine. Native Maine trout right there. I have got him all in figure eights. If you can see that hook, we'll uh, pop it. Oh yeah. Yep, got it. Hold that baby up for the camera. Well, Your first doing? native Maine brook trout. My first native Maine brook trout. You're gonna have to hold that really close to the camera. Oh that, man. What a beauty, huh? Look at the colors. Well, would you look at there. Nice job, Wait. buddy. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. Got let him grow up and get bigger, right? Yep. Let him go, let him grow. See you, buddy. And there he goes. First trout. Hey, my first trout of the day. I'm liking this. We, we can't get breakfast. No. Cooked, made. It's like flag, 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 flag. Any more? No, nope, I got my eyes on it. How do you like your eggs? Anyway. Ah, you're the first person to answer the right answer. Yeah. It's my favorite question when I'm cooking breakfast, because I only cook eggs one way. What's that? I just flip them, crack them, throw them in, flip them once, call it good. Yep, over easy. Yep, but when I'm in, like hunting camp and I'm doing the cooking for everybody, I ask everybody the night before how they like their eggs, and oh my god, you'll get a list of like ten different ways to cook eggs, and then they don't they don't notice till about the third day. I only cook them one way. <laughs> I just like to ask. 
You're like me. You're like me. You'll eat them however they come, right? Yeah. All right, buddy. You should be ready. I'll hand this right out the door to you if you're ready for breakfast. Drive that in you, Bob. You'll see what's good. We've had 12 flags up so far. That's pretty good. There's my food. You can drive that into me. Cup of coffee. Go watch David catch this trout. Joe just came out. I just told you that the flag went off. And before Joe could get out here, before I could put my last sausage in, we got three flags tipped up. One of them a high flyer, one of them a medium flyer, and one of them a, a pretty good flyer. I don't know what that means, but we got some flags up, Joe. Flags up, let's three, go. Three out of 10 are up, baby, let's go. Let's go. Which one do you want to go to first? That's the hardest decision. It's kind of that one is the Got my coffee. Which one? The, got the closest one? The furthest one. Oh, 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 dude, she's making power. Oh, she, Joe. Oh, she's making power. Oh, Joe. All right, buddy, this is all you. Hammer, what hammer do down. Get? Whenever you're ready. What do we got going on, Joe? Hit it whenever you're ready. Uh, it just go, Joe. It just stopped. I don't like that. So feel tension and hit it, and then just throw the line right to the side. I'll, I'll right. reel you in. I ain't felt tension. Got Joe, it. Joe, Joe. Got some weight. We got a little something. No, oh, you're to the leader. Oh, Another mountain trout. A mountain trout, Joe. Nice. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We're gonna feed it. We gonna. We're gonna feed the eagle. We're gonna feed the eagle. We got us a bald eagle staying around at camp here. And Joe Joe has been They're having been, a hard time catching fish on their own right now. Yeah, they can't pound down through the ice. So we're like giving them a little treat with this mountain trout. As long as I don't mountain trout him back up again. <laughs> oh. oh almost. Alright, so Joe, we got two more flags. I ain't giving up. This thing's got a little pep to it when you when you stomp on it. Been a little while since I've been on the old girl. You rolling blackouts? Oh, way off to the side. Yep. Oh, we got a cider. We got us one to the side, Joe. That's peeled some line. That one has peeled some I line. I think so. If you feel anything, you got to give them a little tuggy. I think it's pretty far out. <sighs> Keep going. Oh, <laughs> would you look at there. That is one of the most prettiest little mountain trout I've ever seen in my life. You are by far the best mountain trout fisherman I've ever met. Mm, I'm the best one I've ever met too. <laughs> you got a talent. Or I'm a mountain trout and fishing fool. And it's oh, one of the smallest. Did you leave that flag up, David? Which flag? That one over there. I told you to set that trap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just set a trap, that one, and it's off already. And we got another trap. People, I, thought, I thought you set that trap. Come yeah, on, yeah, David. Yeah. Come on. People who say ice fishing's born. Oh my God. This We're. Is, this is good. We're 11, going, 12, hey, 13, this 14. time we're going in the third vertebrae. This we, is 15 flags up already in an hour and a half. We've had 15 Tops. flags. Here we go. Come on. Let's get them. This one's just barely tripped. I'll reset it. It's not rolling, but it's off to the side. You got two more flags after this one. What? Yeah, we got a triple. We got three flags up right now. Oh, oh, oh. she's turning butter. She, you see that? Turning butter. She's on. 
This could be the droid we're looking for. Oh, did you hear it? Oh, I'm hearing it. She's turning, but uh, all right, go ahead and rail up. All right, he said we turned in butter, buddy. Got it? Oh, we yeah, I feel something. Throw it right down the I ice. Think. Throw the line down. There, there you go. Maybe. Yep, I feel a something. Oh, Throw. what we got? Brookie, nice we brookie. We got a brookie. Nice. We got us a brookie. Look yonder. All right, beautiful brookie, dude. He's over 12. He's a keeper everywhere else but this lake. Same, my man. Good Ooh. release. He going. He's going. There he goes. Second will, rookie of the day. We will catch him another day. Yeah. Hey, we got two more flags out. That was a pretty fish. Hey, I'm gonna burn like 650,000 calories running these flags. You I, darn I'm sure. liking it. All right, we are coming in for a quick lunch. We got some hot Italian sausage, some kielbasa. Mm. David's gonna cook us or cut up some Gouda good cheese. Pretty Gouda cheese. Oh, that's the way I like them. I don't know about you, but that's the way I like them. When you get like 60 deer in a night, is that going like straight to the food pantry or what? Yeah, everyone was spoken for. Yeah. What? Spoken for me? Like... I mean, everybody took. Everybody had people that would take them. Wow. Sure did. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. My man got them all crispy. Listen to that sound right there. Uh, uh, uh. A couple sausages to drive into you, but don't drive them into you literally. I gotta try one of these, see if they're edible. Wow. Wow. Mm. Them fish better watch out on the second half. Yeah. Of this deal. That's gonna bring me right back to life. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. fish. I was trying to set this. Oh my gosh, that's a giant of something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, don't get off. I was trying to set the trap, reset the trap, and I felt something go crazy in my hand. Oh lordy. Joe! Joe! Oh my gosh, I don't know what this is. Joe! I got something giant. Gosh, I got a, such a mess. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, Joe. Look at it, Joe. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Joe. I got a big a Joe. What the <laughs> oh my gosh, Joe. Dude, you are not going to believe this. I was resetting it, and as I'm trying to set the... Dude! I feel something go nice. in my hand. Nice, Togue. <laughs> That's I, a Laker. I feel something go in my hand, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I picked up, and he goes, whoop, whoop, whoop. He hit it while I was setting the minute. No way. Yeah. That's Dude. A keeper. Isn't that a keeper? Yeah. Eight, they gotta be 18. He's what? He's like 20 something. Oh my gosh! Nice Laker, big dark one too. Oh my gosh! I I got him up to the hole. I was going like this, you know, and this. So I'm going like this to set the, you know, the trigger on yeah. the flag, and I feel something in my hand yeah. kind of go like this. I said, "What the heck?" And then when I picked up, it was like, Z -Z -Z -Z. I got him. So the crazy Joe, I come out here. You said, "Hey, go set the go go put a smaller minnow on it." I said, "Okay." So I come out here, and I'm trying to set this flag. And all right, you guys know I don't know much about ice fishing. I'm trying to set the flag. I put a small minnow on it, and I drop it down. And I'm like trying to fiddle this and get this flag. And all of a sudden, I kind of 
felt something going on with, <laughs> with the, the line and I'm like, I pick up and I feel, and I kind of pick up and that's when I knew I had him on. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm hollering, I'm like, Joe, Joe. And you had just started the two stroke and I'm like, Joe can't hear me. And I was it, going to that flag. I know, it, it was another flag. I evidently it was going up and I'm like, Joe, I need your help, Joe. I couldn't even see it because the snowmobile. Because I, I got him up to the hole once. And when I got him up oh, to the yeah. hole, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know what I had. I bet you he gave one heck of a tug. Oh, he did. Yeah, that's 24 yeah. inch Laker. He was. Maybe a laker, dude. Maybe a. Oh my god, she's making uh -oh. butter. She's turning. Uh oh. What we May, got? Maybe here. a laker. Took a lot of line. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Got him? Yeah. Just throw the line to the side. I got him. Good one? I don't know. I just, feel something, Joe. Just keep throwing the line to the side. Oh, so. I feel something, Joe. Decent? Yeah, I think he weighs two pounds, three ounces. Good. Right now. Be coming up nice and soft right now. What do we got? What do we got? What species do we got? It's gotta be a Laker. He took so much line. What? Oh. Let a little out. He might be burned in. He's like, oh, there he went. Uh oh, pull and drag, Joe. Pull and drag. It's like I'm stuck in the Yeah, you probably got the swivel stuck in the ice. Yep. It's stuck over here in the that side. Let, let him have a little. Let him have a little. I am, I got okay. the slack. Alright, try it. Better? Yep, got it. Okay. Wow, he took some serious one. Oh, we might have the world record, Joe. I mean, I watched that go up. We might have the world record. World record, you wouldn't be moving it. World record, Joe. Don't be doubting my world record. Don't be doubting my world record. Good gosh, he's foolish. In a minute. It's gonna be the blackest lake trout you've ever seen. What do we got, Joe? We might have the world record. Good gosh almighty. <laughs> Look at all that line piled up. Mm. Holy cow. Oh. This might be getting bigger. Yeah. You haven't yeah. even got to the bottom marker yet. Did he just get a little bigger? Oh yeah, he done switch sides on me, Joe. Yeah, he did. Make sure you gotta give him be, drag. Gotta be gentle. But if he's got to take it back, let him have it all back. Because mm -hmm. once you get him off the bottom, yeah. Oh boy, oh, yeah. Oh, Joe. We we cook it with gas. Joe, this is what we've been waiting for all day all day here comes the eagle he's even excited Ooh. did you get a look at him oh yeah, you're not your leader little. he's moving the water oh it's a big laker backwards oh i got him in his tail no they wrap they wrap all right there you go nice look a yonder would you look a yonder that is a big one, boys. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> big black laker. Oh, yeah. Hey, a bald eagle looking at you. Yeah, he wants, he wants Look, that right fish. right above our head. Isn't that cool? Yeah, he's coming for that fish. He saw that flag go up. A bald eagle. Uh-oh. Get my fish. Get my fish. You ain't get my, <laughs> get my fish. Check that out, buddy. Nice one, huh? Oh, yeah. He swallow it? Mm. Yeah, she gone. We can cut it. She gone. You got your scissors? Right here. Yeah. All right, hold on one. All right, buddy. I appreciate the thrill. I appreciate the smiles. And you, my man, are going back to give somebody else a smile. That's what you call recycled smiles. He gave me a smile. I'm throwing him back. He's going to give somebody else a smile. 
That's what it's all about. But Joe, hey. There's a, there's a trick on. to this. Hold on. Joe, pick a number between one through 10. Eight. God, Joe, how in the world did you know that you win? Lucky. You win. Lucky. You get to, you no. get to roll that spool right back up. There's I, a there's a super trick to it. This is no bull, guys. If this happens to you, if you got spaghetti laying on the ice, don't wind it up from the real end, or you're gonna have a mess. You have to walk it out from the hook end. So the hook's behind David. He's gonna take that and walk it away from this hole right here. Joe, so you take it that way. I'll wind it up on this side. I don't, care. Uh, my, I don't my buddy care Matt, what anybody says. My buddy Matt taught me that trick because I used to just wind it in until, and I'd have knots and knots and knots. You are smarter than you look. Right? I, I don't care what anybody says. Man, that thing peeled some line. Give me some good news, Joe. I got nothing. Give me some good news, Joe. He's on. There right. he was up to you he's off to the side so you feel him hit him he's right there huh oh you got him yeah <laughs> <Nice rookie. laughs> we got him Would beautiful you little native Would beautiful you just look there, joe beautiful little native we got him joe you can see the, yeah look at there see the stripes on that one <laughs> stripe intro mm. Mm -mm. We're going to put him back for sure. Be a good meal, but he's too small to eat. Hey. We're going to put him back. Another Somebody else is going to smile and have just as much fun as I did. See you later. Oh, he's stuck on the ice seat, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. See you later there, buddy. Good job, buddy. Hey. Another I don't care. I don't care how. I don't care how big they are. I really don't. I get off on catching fish. And that fish just gave me a thrill. And that's what I like. Fuck! Joe. Same as last time. You got another flag up, and the other one I think had a coworm on it. Uh oh, it's sideways like y'all like to talk uh, about. I don't know. Look over there, Joe. <laughs> you got the same Joe, fish. Joe, we <laughs> got Leroy again. <laughs> Leroy. Leroy, what are you Leroy, doing? Leroy, what are you doing, Leroy? Leroy, that's the third time in the oh, last ten Leroy. minutes. Leroy. He's hungry. He just wanted to come get me. Yeah, yeah. I love you too, Leroy. <laughs> Thank you. Leroy, come and give us a thrill like that. He hungry, biting a big manner. Nice one, buddy. Leroy, I hope to see you again soon because you sure are giving me a good time. All right, Bubba. We All got, right. we got us one more flag. Yep. Let's go. Let's get him. Oh, I like it. I like Joe it. Joe is giving me the oh, he is fooling big time. Hit him. All right. Hit him. Hit him. Got him. Got him, Joe. Got him, Joe. I'm thinking this is a mountain oyster. <laughs> I'm thinking this is a mountain this trout. It's going to be a good trout. It's going to be a mountain trout right here, Joe. Brookie. Uh oh. Leave a comment below. What do you think this is going to be? Joe is saying a brook. I'm saying a mountain trout. I've been ice fishing for a total of one day and I can already tell you what it is. It might be a, la a lake trout. No, 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 no. You done call brook. Leave Any a size? comment below. Who thinks I'm going to be right? Any size to it? Yeah, he weighs about 18 ounces. Oh. 18 right. ounces. Oh, got to bust the ice. Oh, oh big oh. one. Big mountain. Big if, mountain if you trout. you commented mountain trout, I, 
I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Big old mountain trout. There's an trout. eagle sitting in this in this uh, pine tree right here watching the whole thing. He's hoping you give him that. Well, we're going to give that eagle. We're going to give that eagle a, a, a ride. A, a fish. What? Oh, pulled the flag down. What? That was weird. I think when I jumped, huh? it, looks, it looks just barely tripped. Oh no, he's on there. Oh yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, he was. Oh, he was on there. Yeah, he yeah. was. Still... Drop it right back down. I bet you can catch him. Running? They usually go 10, 20 feet and stop and eat. There was a rubber band was the marker. Oh, he's on. Ready? Yep, go ahead. Got him. Nice. Got him. We got us one, boys. <laughs> we got us one, boys. First cusk you ever cusk. saw. Grand slam. Thank you, ma'am. That guy's a little too small to eat. Grand slam. Well, that's your fourth species today. That is awesome. Got me a grand slam. Half snake, half catfish. It does look like, almost look like a snakehead, don't it? Half eel, half snakehead, yeah. half grinnel, half, half bowfin. Eel, bowfin, grinnel. Hey, Joe. Good job, buddy. Joe, good way to end the day. Good way to end day number two. Hey, buddy. The, the, uh, Live to see you another day. Go, you got to go that way. You got to go that way. There you go. The Bye -bye. viewers all noticed that you didn't kiss that one. And you kissed all the other fish. They want to know if you think it's ugly. Well, hey, it shouldn't go by looks. Kissing, kissing should be, shouldn't be by looks. It should be by love. <laughs> I'll get that one. Nice. Good job. That's a wrap. Oh, that, the one in the UP is the pole wall. And we worked uh, on the Snell Lock and the Eisenhower Lock in Messina, New, New York. York. Yeah. Ooh, outfished out of Messina quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I stayed there and worked on the bridge that goes from Messina and goes onto the island. Okay. The Res, and then it went into Canada. The Mohawks. Dave yeah, worked on that bridge. I did. <laughs> He's a factor. He's a Mexican fighting animal. Over How'd it look? They, yeah. said, they, How'd said, look? they said, I run the last, we run out. the last inspector off here. I said, I'm too old and too fat to run anyway. I've <laughs> <laughs> heard this before. They yeah. said, we'll put yeah. you in the barrel and throw you off. I said, you might because there's a lot more of you, but I bet I'll take someone with me. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said, hey, we like you, buddy. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Too old to run. <laughs> Mark, that's one heck of an idea. Oh, the deep fry has been awesome. What do you got in there? Some fresh scallops. Oh, how fresh are they? Oh, just before we come up, Slim's brother. Wow. Nice divers. Oh, cow. Oh, yeah. Just a minute. Look at the size of them scallops. Oh, yeah. Big meat channel. Oh, is he all right? Your grandfather? Mm. Yeah, what was that story? Yeah, just that was that. my grandpa, not my great. Oh. Is he okay? Yeah, he never even went in the yeah, ambulance. Right. He went out moose horn. Yeah. He always does, he's been doing for years. Every one of us has a set of horns that he's found from going out shed hunting for moose horns.
He went out to a road that we all know he knows. And he took off about seven o'clock in the morning, went out across the beaver floor and got off on a ridge, found a bunch of moose signs, so he kept just kept going. And before long he realized it was getting later in the day. He didn't have a phone, he don't have a cell phone or nothing. He didn't have any communication. And normally he's back about noontime. And my grandmother called my cousin. Decent? And said, uh, Edible. He hasn't come back for lunch. And this was 1.30. So we knew something was up. So my father, I was headed to drop my daughter off with her mother. So my father, his two brothers, and all my cousins headed out to the woods to try and find where he had headed. And one patch of woods they had just cut probably three, four years ago. And you can drive, these guys know, three hours and oh, not dear. hit the same road. And luckily, one of my uncles found his four wheeler about four o'clock just before dark. And they called the wardens and they said, no one go in the woods, don't touch his four wheeler, anything. And when they brought the dog in and a few wardens and the sheriff and they checked the four wheeler, they could tell it hadn't run all day. He had been in there. And so they headed in and all of us were just kind of hanging out waiting. About 8.15, the wardens that were in the woods called the warden that was up with us and said that they had found him. But what had happened was he walked in and crossed a beaver flowage and got up on a ridge and he found a ton of moose sign and walked through, found a bunch of deer signs looking, looking, and then pretty soon he realized well, I've been in here a while. I gotta probably start headed back. And he knew where the bog was. So he dropped down the ridge to go to the bog and then he realized he couldn't cross it there and he was a long ways from the beaver foliage. Of course, he's he's 78 years old. Jesus. So he got back in the woods and started headed back, and he got exhaustion hit. He hadn't had any water, hadn't had any food. He didn't plan on being out there all day. He planned on being back for lunch, and his legs gave out. Couldn't walk. Couldn't do nothing. Jeez. But he was. He knew he needed to make a bed and find a spot. And he said he found a good tree. It was all dry. And it was the day we were getting freezing rain. It was 25 degrees all day long. He said he found a, a tree that had good limbs. It was dry under it. He put uh, branches down and stuff. He had a bed made. And he was just getting ready to fall asleep. And where we found his four wheel, the warden had pulled in. And he hit his sirens. And he heard the sirens somehow, which all of us said, there's no way he's going to hear anything. The wind was blowing 40. He can't hear any way if you're talking from me to you. So he figured there was no way he was ever going to hear anything. And somehow he heard those sirens and he knew someone was coming. He needed to get up and stay awake. And he said he, he headed towards the sirens. Well, as he was walking towards the sirens, he said he saw a white patch. No and flashlight, dark no, in the pocket. No, no flat, no oh light, nothing. God. This is 6 o'clock at night. No light because he was planning on being home mm -hmm. at noon time. And he said he heard a he could see a white patch. So he started walking towards it, thought it was the road. Stepped in that five feet right in the water. Soaked him. And so he climbed Holy out. Holy cow. He climbed out. And that's when he said he was fine until then. And that's when he realized, all right, I'm in trouble now. I'm soaking wet. But he knew enough, it was his coveralls, so he instantly took his coveralls off, got rid of those, went back to where he was, and then again, some about an hour later after sitting there, somehow, luckily, he heard the dog and the wardens and the sheriff coming, and he started hollering to them. And the sheriff, I've known since I was a kid, she graduated with us. And she said that when he hollered to them, he was a long ways off. And when they got up to him, he was hypothermic. He could barely talk. And she said it was a miracle that he could holler. He, he said that 
she said that when they walked up to him, he could hardly talk. Mm. Wow. So how he could yell to get their attention Worship. is adrenaline. Said, just mm -hmm. no snow yeah. on the ground to track him. No, and, and, and it was freezing ground. rain, so it was instantly sealing the track. They said, that Jeez. It's just Nothing. they so, found they the wardens found one footprint on like three ridges over, so they knew they were headed the right direction. If it wasn't those wardens found him, if it wasn't for them and what they know to do and find them tracks, they wouldn't have known they were headed the right direction. And right after they found that print, they heard him hollering. They, have any of y'all ever been lost? Fuck yeah, I have. It's a weird thing. Bad job. Not bad, but. I've been turning around for three or four yeah. hours before. Not that long. He was in the woods for 13 hours. Yeah. Wow. 25 degrees and freezing rain. When they found him, he was in nothing a pair of jeans. Nothing to drink, nothing to eat. 78 years old. That's a long time. And he was in a pair of jeans when they found him. It was, yeah. Lucky. Lucky. Oh, yeah. unbelievable. Damn right. You could have tell. A lot I mean, so how long did it take from the warden showing up to finding him? Four hours. Four hours, 15 minutes. Yeah, I'd say about well. four hours. <laughs> <laughs> they did um, they, but from the time the first warden showed up because he had to wait for the dog to come and obviously they sure, did Dave? an excellent job they kept everybody out of the woods they Screw knew what they needed to do get Working. the wardens in there and that's the thing like as soon as soon as he started hollering to the warden the warden in the woods called the warden that was out with us and made sure nobody else was in the woods <laughs> So they weren't walking towards someone else yeah, looking for him. And they said, we hear someone yelling, <laughs> but we want to make sure no <laughs> one's in the woods. Yeah. So when we start walking towards it, about the shock, we know it. Be too much and they did, and they came much. up on it. And that's when they found it. Lucky. Yeah. Damn oh, right. he, and he knew, like, I've, I've never heard. He, he was very grateful. And you could tell. He knew that they saved his life. Wow. And... That siren saved his life. He was minutes from going to sleep, and like he said, finding him after he fell asleep. Yeah. Him oh, he, 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 that. he said. He said too. He knew probably if he fell asleep that he wouldn't awake enough. Jeez. Yeah, hypothermia. He would have got. Hypothermia. And he had a gray. Oh, yeah. He had a snowmobile jacket with a few reflectors, but it's an old choco gray yeah. and black jacket. It would have been, yeah, and he would, he had made a yeah, bed, so he's tucked was under a tree. Cold, it would have been hard to find him. He was five minutes away from this being totally different mm -hmm. situation. David, what are you working on? There's water in the back. So I oh, the if David's wife sees that, he's oh in trouble. Oh, he must be on a diet. Oh, turns out oh, I can geez. get some fishing information after all. Oh, oh, a little geez. blackmail yeah. for you. Oh. Huh? Huh? He's Drive it in you. Drive it in you. Adam's like that. Yeah, me and Adam's cousin. Wait, 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 wait. Who's who again? All right, so he's your cousin. He's your brother-in-law. Mark's uh, his wife's my first cousin. All right, then who's next? Adam's your cousin. Adam and I and Slim are all first cousins. Yeah. And then what? Where do you fit in? Kyle, Kyle, and Kim. Where are you on the family tree? No, just buddies. I'm just random bird. Yeah. Yeah. Way too skinny. <laughs> yeah, you see by the bill, Joe. <laughs> I'm not really. Uh, they said something about family trees in uh, Pembroke or like telephone poles. <laughs> yeah. Ain't got no branches. No. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> says, the, says the guy from Lubin. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Had a uh, pretty crazy night. Pretty crazy night, David and I, there he is, he's ready for bed, I'm ready for bed. We took a ride to the parking lot to see our buddies, and my good buddy Pat Lassard was there, and he's got his camping gear, so we brought him out, got him set up, went back in, David and I had a great night with the guys, had fried scallops, had fried potatoes, had fried haddock, and, and heard a bunch of really good stories, shared some good stories, and came back here and but we're gonna have a good night tonight and get after them tomorrow we got a big journey big plans for tomorrow it's gonna be a lot of fun just getting to these fish let alone catching them we're gonna have a good time we had a great day today thanks for tuning in tune in for tomorrow because i'm i can promise you it's gonna be a great day too what do you think did you have a great day today yeah, i had a phenomenal day today 
ice fishing my first day ever ice fishing i catch the grand slam evidently yeah. the grand slam on the lake i caught the grand slam so i can see whatever why everybody ice fishes hearing that flag 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 i love that I'm going to be going to sleep tonight thinking flag, flag, flag. <laughs> I've actually, after phenomenal days of ice fishing, I've actually almost jumped out of bed thinking that a flag went up. Just as you first close your eyes and you see that flag pop and it's like, whoa, flag. And then you're like, oh, I'm in bed. 